you guys are probably like, yeah, trucks have been doing that for a hundred years. Bro, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I've, I, I had an old truck. Oh wow, good morning. Do you know where we're at, woman? Illinois. What? Tropolis, Illinois, I think. No, we're not in Illinois, are we? I think so. No, bro. Yeah. Look, that says Paducah. Yeah. Let me see. Hold on, girls. Hey, Mackie. Hold on, babies. I'm so unprepared. Metropolis. Is that what you said? Oh, you're right, Metropolis. I wasn't listening to you, woman. No, let's walk this other way, girls. Yeah, we gotta go this way. Oh, uh, so. Hey. Those, uh, those wireless lights that I bought, if we hit a real hard bump, turns them off. And so we were basically stopping like every 30 minutes last night yeah. to turn them back on. Oh, so what I ended up doing, so we wouldn't have to keep doing that, was I turned the APU on and turned the hazards on on the Mac. Um, when we first picked this thing up too, up there in Wisconsin and started driving, man, it was so windy up there. It was ridiculously windy. And I was I was scared, I won't, I won't lie, man. I'm like, man, this is, this is some sketchy stuff. But now that we're out of the wind, man, it pulls like a dream. We're getting, uh, I think we're up in the seven mile per hour, seven miles per gallon <laughs> range. And we're doing like, we're only doing like 60 mile an hour. Cause it, I mean, it, even though it, it feels better, it, it's still scary. Uh, trucks running good other than the fact that um, we had a uh, low cooler light that kept coming on and off. And it is, um, it's what? Com it's no, it's, yeah, I know it's, yeah, it's common. It's definitely a common thing, but it is an annoying thing. Yeah. It just will not shut up. Beep it. Anyways, this puts us, uh, according to the GPS, about nine hours from the house. Since we do about uh, 60 mile an hour, we'll probably be there in... 12 hours. <laughs> Probably something like that. Oh, I've got some oil filters ordered for the truck. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do all the filters and the oil. I got the APU kit. Oh, that's another thing. That APU uh, makes some crazy noises. It's, it's squeaky. I'm hoping it's just a belt. You can't really get to it and see it as good as you can on the Comfort Pro. It's got one little door. I mean, you could take the whole casing off, but I don't want to take the whole casing off. It's just got one little door where you can like check the oil and stuff. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mac. I tried, man. You just refused to work with me. Oh, what else is going on, Babs? You sleep good? Yeah. I think I lost the footage, but um, I talked about, let me switch this thing around. I talked about, um, Last night when we got that thing hooked up, which I don't know if I mentioned it or not, that guy was a trip, man. He's a, he's an old guy. 
and he expects things to be done his way and he expects you to read his mind and know exactly what he wants done without telling you and if you don't do it he will cuss you out yeah <laughs> i mean he will cuss you out like no joke it's, oh i told him i'm like i think we're long lost family i really do because I, I think i'm the same way sometimes maybe he had maybe he was a redhead Maybe, oh, you think it's a redhead thing? I don't think so, man. I think we're long lost family members somehow. I don't know what color his hair used to be, but he's angry. (laughs) Yeah, he he is an angry guy. He uh, hauls boats. He says, um, if I put a wet kit on the truck, he'll let me haul boats. But I don't know if we can put a wet kit on there with uh, that transmission. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can hook a wet kit up to an automatic transmission. Oh, he's a trip, though. Um, I was talking about something else, and you distracted me, woman. No. Uh, I don't know. You were talking about Richard. Oh, okay, yeah. I was talking about when we were hooking that thing up. I was like, oh, man, we're going to go hook that thing up. We're going to go back to the pilot. We're going to swap these mattresses, and we're going to sleep good tonight. Well, it took so long to hook that thing up. We went back to the pilot, and I was like, we're not, swap- we're not swapping the mattresses. But the mattresses that came in that thing, I swear, they give you a better mattress in jail. Those things were so bad. Oh, Mackie's got a stick. What a jerk. That's probably the one I tripped on last night. Probably. Um, here, I'll take the dogs. But getting to sleep on the mattresses in there last night was just absolutely amazing. The AC of that, um, of the APU, works really good of course it's cold it's chilly out so i don't know what it's going to be like when it's 110 degrees outside but it's definitely kicking out some cold air it's got a vent underneath the beds that blows and it's also supposed to be connected to the vents that are back there by the beds and i think you're supposed to be able to close the 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 main vent underneath the bunk and it'll blow through the the actual vents that came on the truck but they're not it's not it's not blowing it through those vents so i don't know if there's like a hose pinched underneath the beds or what i'll have to check all that out when we get to the house but i mean besides that it's just been a been a normal trip that cummins is loud that's that motor is much louder than the mac um and that cummins likes to be between like 1100 rpm and like 1400 rpm which is wild to me because anything under 1400 rpm on my mac it would not the mac had to be like 1400 to 1800 for it to do anything that's why like a lot of you guys after in the comments after we got the mac i remember people saying oh you want to try to keep it between like 1100 and i don't know what you guys were saying like a lot it was like super low rpm i'm like you guys are crazy this truck will It'll shake itself to death trying to start at 1100 or or below 1400. So, and there's also a weird thing where, oh, you, you know how in a previous video, I haven't put the video out yet, but I talked about um, how that Cascadia's oil pressure was dropping, like when you would coast down a long hill, not giving it any gas, I think it dropped to like 10, 10 PSI. That truck does the same exact thing. It drops to 10 PSI when you coast down a long hill and don't give it any gas. Which is wild to me because the Mac would never drop that low. It would never drop that low. You could coast that thing from here to Hawaii and the oil pressure would not drop that low. But that, for some reason, those do. And you know what else is weird is that that Cummins engine only comes with one oil filter. And the Mac has three oil filters. And I think the other oil filters that were on the Mac from the factory were like uh, bypass oil filters. Anyways, I've been doing a lot of reading on this motor too. And a lot of people say to add a bypass oil filter on it. So I have one coming from Amsoil. And we're going to put that on when we go home too. So it'll have a, uh, a bypass oil filter on it when we get home and change the oil trying to think of other things oh oh yeah so anything at around like a thousand rpms or lower and you try to turn the wheel on that thing it's like the power steering pump isn't isn't spinning fast enough 
so the wheel kind of like vibrates and shakes and kind of makes a noise in the truck. Next time I'm, uh, next time I'm, I'm, I try not to let it drop below. I try not to let it go that low, a thousand RPMs, especially when you're pulling a grade. They say that's that's one way you can drop a liner. But well, next time it does, I'll I kind of show you. If you if you just rev it up and give it get it past a thousand RPMs, it, it smooths out and it doesn't do it anymore. So I don't know. I know I'm missing stuff. And I had these big plans to like show you guys and do some cool shots with the truck. But with it taking longer to get the financing going for this thing, I'm like, let's just get this thing home and and start making some money because I'm, I'm tapped out i'll be honest with you it's, this is the lowest my bank account has been in a very long time a very long time so anyways lita went to use the bathroom uh we're at this little rest area we've been at before but i mean there was trucks parked everywhere all all on the ramps going both sides like this place was packed and we were able to sneak in up there because we're a little bit shorter than everybody else only being two trucks long that uh <clears throat> we got super lucky last night all right anyways talk your ear off I'm trying to think of anything else i'll try to make a list the truck isn't perfect i think uh kenworth's aren't perfect i'm not saying they are but it rides so much better than that cascadia that truck rides good I think the transmission shifts better too. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're, you're wrapped around. Hold on, Mackie. Mackie. You're wrapped around Fat Butt's leg, dummy. Pick your leg up, Fat Butt's. Mackie, I'm going to beat your butt. Um, I think the transmission shifts better. The Jake brake is, or the engine brake is, is pretty good. Um,. I don't think it does as good as a downshifting course. I haven't really like had a load on me either. Um, downshifting with the Jake brake. I haven't really used the Jake brake much, but that uh, Cascadia definitely like downshifted. I, th I think it downshifted better. I don't know. Like I said, I haven't had to put a load on it. Yet. I haven't had a load on it yet. Um, Cascadia was a little bit fancier too. Uh, I mean, it had a couple of little fancy things, but not a good not like not a good fancy like that has the bendex it's got like a little monitoring system and i think you're required to have like a monitor a, a monitoring monitoring system if your fleet is over like a certain size so i have a little sensor on the passenger side of the truck and then i got like a little computer thing in there that tells me if there's a truck next to me where that other cascadia it would like bells and whistles and it would go crazy and this one doesn't care like it doesn't have the uh, lane departure i don't know what you would call it if like if if you start i don't know dozing off or whatever and going off outside of the line that cascadia would let you know that does not let you know which i'm glad because i hated that about the cascadia what it does have is if you start coming up behind somebody it uses sonar i think it uses sonar same as the cascadia because it, it knows how far you were from the truck and it'll let you know you have to slow down or it will slow you down. Um, it hasn't slammed on the brakes, knock on wood, yet, like the Cascadia has done to us through uh, a construction sites or anything. But I've heard it's it's not uncommon for the Kenworths to do it as well. So their little safety system is, um, it's good and bad. Especially like if you have your cruise control set, like it'll keep you like cruising behind whatever car you are. Um, at a safe speed if say i have that thing locked into 70 and i'm coming up behind somebody doing 60 that truck will actually slow you down and keep you on pace at 60 mile an hour you guys are probably like, yeah trucks have been doing that for a hundred years bro i don't know i have no idea <laughs> I, I i had an old truck my ford doesn't do it anyways again i've talked too much see you guys in a bit
Oh, even Fat Butts is chewing on it? No. I knew better than that. That Fat Butts is smarter than to chew on a stick, huh? Only peasants chew on sticks. You be careful with that little stick there. Hey, look at this. Hey, all right, come on. You're crazy. Doing over there, Lena? Howl's End. You playing some World of Warcraft? Yeah, but it's a Halloween. It's Halloween. <laughs> I have to do it. It didn't have the wrench yesterday. All right, so we got the um, the level fluid uh, coolant level sensor unplugged. And as, as, it was, as I was doing the walk around, I was, I was, as I was fueling up like I normally do, we've got radiator fluid just pouring out of the APU somewhere. Um, the reservoir in the truck is still full, but it's steadily dripping out of the APU. So I hope it's not like a radiator or something in there. I hope it's just like a, maybe a bad hose or maybe a loose hose clamp. You can't really access that. Uh, that APU is quick or as easily 